me see your identification. You don't need to see his identification. We don't need to see his identification. These aren't the droids you're looking for. These aren't the droids we're looking for. He can go about his business. You can go about your business. But move along. Move along. Move along. <laughs> Mind games. Neiman Marcus, 2022, decided to launch their own niche fragrance line called Mind Games. So these are based around the game of chess and they are quite unique. Uh, I've smelled pretty much all of them in store. I have two samples here. We're going to take a look at a little bit more of a deep nose dive on these uh, during this video. We're going to go onto the laptop. We're going to go through the website, uh, run through some things since I do not have full presentations. Uh, but we'll see where we go with this. jump in here and see what they have to say so we have a little blurb here about the inspiration behind the fragrance and I'll just let you pause that if you are so inclined to give it a read but basically they're breaking it down and talking about the uh, sustainability of the company here and um, the research behind the fragrances etc and then a little more on the sustainability, uh, which I gotta hand it to them. They're they're very big on uh, sustainable uh, resources and sourcing and environmental footprint, and uh, that's a good thing. And if you go to the website, there's a short video. Well, it's actually not that short. It's seven minutes and forty five seconds of video. And then we have the perfumers listed for the fragrances, and you can do a rundown and. Get some information on all of the perfumers involved in this line. So, Jadou. We'll take a look at that first. As you can see, Extra Day Parfum, $345. We have description here. And then we'll go into the notes. Mandarin oil, pomegranate. Rose, Amber Star, Brenzoin, Vintage Leather, Patchouli Oil, Sulawesi. Uh, it's a woody floral fruity. It's definitely unique. Um, <laughs> I want to go as far as to say uh, I've seen it compared to or called Jadubi. Uh, <laughs> some people feel like the patchouli note in here gives it a uh, cannabis type of a feel. Uh, so yeah, I'm not sure about that, but let's go into double attack. This one's my favorite here. Uh, so this one comes at you from both ends here. You have a bittersweet chocolate note, and it also comes with uh, vanilla bourbon. Uh, we have vetiver, sandalwood, and the orange bitters as well. And we do have some agave flower and cinnamon in there and everything. So it's really a unique mix, but the orange and the chocolate really just hit on each other and play on each other very nicely. Uh, and you can get samples of these for 10 bucks as well, uh, any of the line here. So if you wanna give them a try, you can also go to Nima Marcus and just get them for free. Uh, so if you have one near you, take advantage of that. But yeah, you can also get, as you can see here, discovery sets. Um, which are not cheap, uh, <laughs> but they are in the $350 range as well. Uh, the 10-piece full discovery set here uh, 
yeah, 350. Um, it comes in a reusable case, but still, I mean, you're paying the full price of a full bottle for the Discovery set, which, you know, if you're interested in the line, it might be worth it, but that is up to you. So where do we land on these? Uh, I have a video coming up on Louis Vuitton, and I have to say, for the most part, I've enjoyed these more than Louis Vuitton. I've found these more easy to wear, more pleasant to experience during the day. There's a couple Louis that I absolutely love, don't get me wrong, they're all very nice, but these are very distinct. They each have their own character. They each have their own place in the lineup. Um, and I must say, for everything but the price point, I really think these are uh, very enjoyable fragrances. I've smelled pretty much the whole line. I only have these two samples currently, but uh, really not a bad one in the bunch. Um, the only way to tell though is get your own nose on it. Go to a Neiman Marcus near you and see what you think for yourself. Thank you so much again for all the support in the channel. It's been growing. Please like and subscribe. I usually don't ask for that, but it helps a lot. It really does. And uh, please leave your comments below if you have experienced any of these mind game fragrances for yourself. Take care, and we'll catch you on the next one.